hi guys how are you um sorry i haven't uploaded a video in a long time uh, i've been very busy with my job uh, this is not my uh, uh this is not what i do for a living like this is just a hobby and i've been so busy it's been crazy so um i haven't had a chance to like respond to any of your comments but i did look at them thank you for watching and i'm glad you like these videos um so i have one more that i filmed last time but i haven't uploaded it yet uh so i'm gonna put it up soon um uh, just as i get some time so i haven't been doing any of these uh hauls either like i haven't been going to this flea market um lately and um after a long long time i uh went there and uh, i did get some items actually i did get a lot of them um uh, maybe i kind of made up for all the times i haven't been there um so uh let's get into that i'm gonna show you uh what i got um last week and um let's start from here so i have this um Squash Blossom Naja Necklace. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks. It, it's not actual. It's not real. This is not real silver or real turquoise. This is just a imitation piece. This is a designer piece. The designer is called Goldet. I think it's right in here. If you can, I don't know if the camera is gonna focus, but it says Goldet right there. So, um, I, I knew this was an imitation please, uh, but that is like really like well made and uh, it's pretty interesting. I do watch, um, I do observe a lot of these um, Etsy sellers who actually have these necklaces and they do cost a lot. So it was a fun piece to get and I liked how like well made it was. So I picked that one up and um, okay, if I start from here, I have a ring. I know that this I don't know what this stone's called. I it was some kind of jasper, I'm not sure. The, like you know, I see these Etsy sellers like they have all sorts of stone stones and you know the names written and I've seen an exact stone like this and I can't seem to remember what it's called. So most of the pieces are all sterling. So this is really nice, but what I observed was like you know the ring holder is like so huge. So I'm not sure how this is supposed to fit. Like maybe the thumb um not sure how this is gonna it, it's like a little different ring from what i've seen if it's this big are you supposed to fit in two fingers in it not sure but um he actually put this in at the end of it so i got that one and um i have a small egyptian pendant i had one more like this i uh, put it on my uh, store uh, if you want to watch if you want to uh, look into it it's called vintage by trader um on etsy uh, so this one i uh, liked it a lot i might keep this for myself so it has the egyptian hieroglyphs um i think that's a bird yeah it's like a totem pole I'm trying to look at it yeah there's a bird and there's something on top of it and then on top of that, it's like a torn pole kind of pendant. I uh, I like that. I'm I've been obsessed with Egyptian civilization for the longest time, so uh, that's one of the things I really like. So I picked that one up, and um, then the next one is this. I think that is a kingman turquoise. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, so this is a sterling uh, Navajo piece um it's mark sterling there uh, pretty simple uh small kingman turquoise uh, in here in the cuff bracelet so i picked that one up and uh this is one of the uh nicer pieces i think this is a mexican piece so this is a turquoise to um i uh, uh see there's royston there's like um seven eight different types of turquoises i am most familiar with the kingman turquoise um or you know the carico lake turquoise the green looking one so this is one of the varieties um not sure what one that is this has like a lot of um blue with brown uh, spots i i know what this is 
uh, can't seem to remember. I'm not doing my research. Like part of the reason of buying these things is like you know the fun of looking them up. Like what kind of, what sort of turquoise it is. Who's the designer? What's the signature? Like you know, it gives a bit of history of you know how the jewelry was made. So um, so this is it. It's pretty ornate. Um, okay, look at that. Um, and I do see that you know some of you guys actually help me out telling me what it is and I really appreciate that so um, this one's actually a Mexico piece um, I see 925 Mexico marked in there so uh, I think that was a nice piece so I take that one up so it has like you know this um, leaf design going all the way up like all through on both sides so that's one um, and then I got this watch uh, it's a pretty neat watch like it has a stretchy uh, band here and it has this uh, silver etching with like you know with turquoise in there that's definitely Native American and um, I, I'm trying to see if there's a marking there there is uh, it's 925 and there is a designer mark there so I have to I can't see much. Uh, okay, hold on. okay, okay. I be I can barely read. So you know, I have to look with my glasses and stuff. Like, yeah, when I get time, like you know, in my spare time, I just look at these and like you know, maybe try to make a few listings and stuff. That's what I do. But it's it's pretty detailed. It says Liberty in the center and then there is like a world map in there with these here. Um, I, I'm sure women can wear it too but the band's like pretty huge so I'm assuming this is to be worn by a man. Uh, maybe it's a man's watch but it's, it's pretty cool though. It's really cool. So um, I picked that one up so it's like mostly sterling and a little bit of uh, stainless steel. Uh, so that's the next one and then I have this piece this is like a totally like unique piece there are all these red cabochons um, I don't think that's garnet it's like a, like you know a glass kind of crystal and there's like a coin um, let me see that's George Washington and it says American Revolution um, okay and uh sons of liberty so like it, in the back it has a tree it says sons of liberty that's the back of it and it's 835 silver and there's george washington american liberty inside so i thought this was a really unique piece like you know it's a pendant it's a huge pendant um it didn't look like silver but i think the 835 is still silver is a different uh, uh grade of silver like 925 is 92.5 silver um so that's that was a unique piece so i uh, picked that one up and um and i have this piece this is a moonstone like it has a nice blue shine to it you don't see a lot of it there's another piece with the with extreme shine like you know really a lot of shine i'll show you so that's a silver moonstone pendant like i do like this one i might keep this for myself yeah and um here's a pretty one like this is um you know the guy that sold me he said this could be this is emerald and rubies that, that's definitely not emerald that is moss agate i'm thinking you know that's what the moss agate looks like so um that's what i think and he says those are rubies they do look like raw rubies they could be it so that's a sterling silver pendant that's a really pretty one Green with pink is like one of the nicest uh, color combinations. And uh, then after that, I have these three balls. Okay, so uh, one, two, three. So they all say nine to five. Yeah, and these are like some sort of serving balls. So uh, they look unique to me with their armor kind of uh, plating inside. So I just picked these up. So uh, uh, that was a that was a good pick. So I got those, um, and then I have these. These are like uh, amethyst earrings, hoops. Very actually, they 
I think they are aquamarine, not amethyst. You know, amethyst is a little green. So these are aquamarine. Let me see if you can see the color now. Yeah. So those are aquamarine silver hoops. So I have that. And then um, I did pick up a lot of uh, sil um, amber pieces this time. So he had a lot of amber. Um, so this is one of the pieces. It is connected. He had like many, many pieces like this, like a smaller one like this. And I kind of like this one. It has like a story inside it. Like you see how it's formed inside. It's very pretty. So I uh, got that one from him. And there's one more amber piece. So this is more like carved amber pendant. This is a smaller pendant and it is carved. It's, it's pretty nice. So I picked that one up. Um, okay, my battery is gonna die. If the video cuts off, I'll have to continue in another video. Um, and uh, I have this. This looks like cobalt or calcite, the pink druzy, but it's just a little um, shiny to be the to be cobalt or calcite, but it is pink uh, with some kind of sparkle to it, and it is attached to this big chunk of like you know amethyst. Like, I don't know if you call it fluorite. Uh, there's this violet uh, purple stone here. And, you know, the druzy is attached to it. And there are, like, two um, two of these um, hooks that you can, like, you know, attach a chain to. So that's a really unique pendant. So I thought that was really... I like stones, too. So I just picked that one up. So that's another thing I got. And... Um, moving on i have this ring this is a native american ring um that looks like a kachina to me uh with the wings spread out so there's the turquoise and the coral and uh, it says jts in the back so that's one of the native american designers so i'll i'll have to look it up like you know before i uh, make a listing for this so that's a nice ring so i picked that one up and i have i did pick a lot of amber pieces from this guy so he had a lot more amber i just got few of these so this is like a different uh style of amber you can see has like these you know um like granules trapped inside it's a sterling piece um it's a little different color it's more like concentrated so I picked that one up. I thought that was really nice. Um, and then more amber. Okay, there's like a ton of amber this time. So this one seems like it has a landslide in there. Like, you know, some kind of piece. Of it, it, it has a great, like, you know, storytelling uh, attribute to it. It feels like a plateau inside. Like a mountain inside. So I thought that was cool. I uh, picked that one up and um yeah i did like buy a lot of things you know i haven't been to the market for a long time so i did make up for not going there <laughs> and picked up so many pieces so this is the um inlay um uh, multiple inlay pieces and the colorful ones with like you know different uh, components in there i really like these pieces and it says sterling and what is it QT in the back so i'll have to look up with QT, what QT is that's one of the designers so i have those earrings these are pierced earrings like it has some malachite uh spiny oyster turquoise lapis coral yeah it has a whole lot of stuff in it so i have that and i have a heart pendant which is like you know with similar looking uh with like all these different colored stones so uh that says se okay yeah this that says se sterling so i have to see who se is yeah uh, but i i like these pieces like the multicolored ones they always uh, get me like i i really really like them so i just pick them up every time i see them then I have these um, these earrings. Um, these I just picked up. Like you know, these are uh, sterling earrings with like you know a green stone in there. It dangles like this. 
So I uh, picked that one up. So that's that. And then after that, I have a couple more pieces from this guy. So this is a good one. This is a turquoise. It's a Kingman turquoise. Um, and this is by Mary Mary uh, Yazi Lincoln. I think she's one of the most popular, more popular designers. And you know, her pieces are like high value. So this is a bracelet that I have of hers. 